Yo, what is up everybody? My name is Hogman and today we're going to be talking about my top five tips on how to reach champion division in arena. Uh, this video is mainly geared for players that are actually new to competitive Fortnite, trying to get into it and trying to uh, reach champions division for the first time and, you know, maybe get into those cash cup type uh, tournaments that are out uh, that require you to actually be a champion or maybe competing in FNCS for the first time. Uh, since FNCS solos is actually about to start, it's right around the corner, only a week away. I think that, you know, maybe this will help you guys maybe gain a couple more points and get into that into that final area that you're trying to get to, uh, obviously through champions division. Um, so, you know, just jumping into it, I, I think that I, I've had a lot of time to think about this and I think that there's really five things that come down to it that are honestly going to make you glide straight through and get as many arena points as you want. I'm at 14,000 and I barely even play arena. I only played it for like a week when, it, when the season first came out. I got around 14,000 and then I pretty much just play like custom games, you know, in elite scrims and basically just try to play with as many pro players in a condensed environment as possible. And since, you know, you play custom games, you actually don't gain arena points in those and you, you don't get EXP or anything like that. So just diving into it, we're going to talk about my, um, my number five tip and that is to actually land at one spot. So I think the most common mistake that I see a lot of players making is that um, at least players that I talk to, uh, you know, throughout my stream or whatever, um, they just hot drop in arena, you know, they just hot drop, land at whatever POI, even if they don't know it very well. And then, you know, half the time they die, half the time they don't. And the system is, is based around, um, you know, basically not dying off spawn. And I'll get into that a little bit, but what I really recommend is that you guys find a drop spot that is um, your favorite place to land. You're very comfortable with it. Not only are you comfortable with the drop spot and looting it quickly, but you can also land or know everything about everyone around you. Um, so for me, I actually am landing, recently I'm landing at the Henchman chest spawn right outside of retail in Lazy Lake, right in between it. And I'm able to know how many people are in Lazy Lake. I'm able to know how many people are in retail. I know how many people are at that yellow house northeast of it. I can tell anyone that lands on any chest around my P or around my drop spot, and I know all of these things as I'm dropping on my normal drop spot. So the more you drop at that one place that you're trying to get, you know, a little bit more accustomed to, or you're trying to be consistent with, um, the more you're going to learn about the spot, the faster you're going to get, and the more you're going to be able to manipulate how you move through uh, and rotate around other people. Um, you know, whether you want to avoid them or fight them or whatever it is you want to do, you're going to be more experienced because you've been in that scenario more times, right? I mean, that's just like with anything in life, you know, the more you practice, the better you're going to get at it. So why you might as well practice one specific spot instead of trying to practice 40 different spots where you're not going to be as good at. Um, and I think that that's really important. So don't hot drop, you know, try to play the games a little bit more serious and try to land on a spot that you're consistent with. Uh, and my next tip for you guys is actually play for placement. So uh, right now, I I'm going to show you the screen. Um, a lot of people, I mean, obviously this sounds like super super basic but it's something that people don't do like a lot of the time in arena like people just push and that's it but um you know each elimination at least in the we're gonna look at contender contender division which is division seven uh right before champions league uh so you know looking at it it's the bus fare is negative 40 so that means you're gonna have to get two eliminations to even break even in the bus fare okay so that means you're gonna gain zero points if you only kill two people, right? So if you're contesting two people off spawn, you know, you kill them both, you break it even, that's great. But the idea is that you want to play for placement, guys. Look at how many points you get if you actually just play for placement. You get to top 25, which you can get by second zone. So that's about, what, six minutes from when you drop, um, you know, you're in second zone. You're probably gonna get top 25 in that amount of time. So you're gonna get to 60 points already. You're already gaining points every single game if you just get top 25 with zero kills. Um, and that just makes it a grind at that point. But everything after that is just a bonus. You just want to make your goal that top 25 by playing for placement, landing, landing maybe at the outskirts um, every single game, you know, and just trying to play for that top 25 benchmark, maybe going for a kill after that. If not, you can actually go for top 15 after that. And then top, fi top five after that, get 60 more points just off these two threshold pieces combined. Maybe you'll even win a game every now and then because you got lucky, you got half zone, you got first moving. Um, you're on height and then you actually win the game you get an elimination you get three eliminations That's 60 more points in late game and then you also get the victory of real I mean all this together guys you're looking at hundred and eighty points plus 20 for every elimination and that sure does beat uh, You know landing killing one person and then dying to the next person after that and losing 20 arena points Just for you know not playing placement not playing as safe as you could have and not playing for that end game 
Um, so I really recommend you guys at least shoot for top 25 every game uh, because throughout these divisions, I mean, all the bus fare is pretty low. So if, you, if you're shooting for that top 25, like the system actually works in your favor every single time. Uh, you will always gain points if you play for top 25, 100% of the time. Um, if you get top 25 in 100% of your games, you will reach champion division, absolutely. Um, and this brings me to my next point. I actually think that you should upgrade your guns. A lot of people don't really do that in arena. And I, I don't know how many people I kill that have like a green tack and like a blue AR and like that's their loadout. But you can actually just take some time. You know, upgrading is really cheap nowadays. So if you land it somewhere where an upgrade station is nearby, just farm out the mats. Like just spend two minutes doing it or even less than that, one minute doing it. You can get a spaz, you get a purple pump uh, or you can get a purple tack. Um, you know, I really recommend doing that kind of thing. I think it really makes the game so much easier when you're playing with a spaz as opposed to like a green pump. Like, I mean, you guys know all the creative crackheads out there. Like you guys, you guys know, like it's just way easier. So might as well do it. I think upgrading your gun should be something you do in every single arena game. I do it every time I'm playing arena. I always upgrade to a purple shotgun and just go for it. Um, and moving on to my fourth point, or sorry, second to last, whatever. Uh, I think it's really important to have fun and be positive. You know, I actually covered this in a previous video not too long ago on my YouTube channel. Uh, but I think having fun and being positive and just enjoying the process and, and enjoying improving on top of just playing for placement, like that's gonna be way, way better than just like getting upset whenever you die or getting upset when you get W keyed or you lose some points. Like just take it for what it is, guys. You know, it is just a video game. And, and I know that, you know, at least for me, I've been victim to this, but don't take the game too serious. Like, you know, at the end of the season, you're going to have all your points reset. Like, just have fun. Just find ways to have fun. Like, for me, um, the, the thing I did last night on my stream is I was scooting. I was using that little Deadpool scooter emote. I scooted all the way into third zone um, on the roads of in between lazy and retail. And I was just making it, like, really fun for my stream. And I think just having fun and being positive is going to make you play so much better. Uh, because you actually are wanting to play the game. You're not wanting to die and then wanting to re and wanting to complain about how a controller is broken or whatever, you know? Uh, just having fun and being positive is really, really cool. Uh, and last but not least, guys, I'm bringing you to my last point, which I think is one that is really overlooked. And that is actually that you guys should be playing the Hype Knights. Be playing the Hype Knights, guys. The Hype Knights are absolutely the easiest way to gain arena points or gain hype. Um, it's so, so easy to be able to do this, guys. Like, I know that it actually looks very daunting whenever you look at it, but when you play the Hype Knights, it does take away hype. It takes away 300 hype just to play the tournament. But once you get to top 1%, which is so easy, by the way, like, I don't think you guys really recognize how easy getting 1% is. Um, like, when you open it up, like, you're going to see 89 points, but this is the top 0.0001%. This is completely different from what you're doing. Um, I think something around 20,000 people get these. So if you can get into the top 2,000 of people, which is ridiculously easy, I mean, just the, I mean, if we can look at the top 2,000, I mean, I'm looking at top 500, and it's already 49 points. Like, that's nothing for 10 games. Um, but if we look at the top 2,000, if I just scroll all the way down, I think we're gonna be looking at about 35 points-ish, which is so easy, guys. Like, you can really get that. You you literally just have to play for placement every now and then and like maybe get a couple kills off spawn and you're chilling. Like, Hype Knights are meant to be fun. They're meant to be not super competitive because you're playing against the entirety of people. So yeah, it's 39 points. Look at this, this guy killed two people and he has 37 placement points and he got to 39 points, which is top 2,000. And that puts him in the top 1%. This guy literally killed two people and then got zero kills for the rest of the time and is still in the top 1%, which gains him 900 arena points and puts him way above that champion league threshold probably. So I really recommend playing those hype nights as often as you can. I don't know when the next one is, but um, just doing that as much as possible from not only this season, but the next season moving on is just really, really important to be able to do that um, and gain those arena points very quickly if you don't have the time to put in to play a ton of arena games. Those hype nights are a really solid thing to be able to like just, um, you know, clash out. Maybe if you're of age, drink, you know, have a couple of drinks, play the hype night for two and a half hours, log off. <laughs> you know, that literally gets almost all of it done in just a couple of weeks. And I think that that's really, uh, super easy to do. So, you know, those are my top five tips. I really do hope that you guys uh, actually did enjoy this video. If you did, please show me a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Also, leave a comment down below of what you thought of the video and also if you have any video ideas that you would like for me to talk about and discuss, 
and teach you guys about in the future. Um, if you guys would like to, I would really appreciate you guys subscribing to the YouTube channel for future videos and turning on that notification bell. But thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on my streams. Thank you guys so much uh, for all the support lately. The streams have been popping off and I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See you next time.